Hey, it's Andrew from Guitar Street again. Um, the world is batshit crazy at the moment, so I wanted to do something a bit different, something I've been meaning to do for a while. I wanted to quickly show you and play with my wild pecker. Um, what? I'm gonna show you my pecker. Say you've got $250 US, that's your budget. So around about 500 bucks Australian, um, you're not gonna get much. Let's have a think about it. If you're looking for a super strat and you don't have a thousand bucks, then I reckon you would probably buy an Ibanez Geo, right? No, no. You can pick up a 1990s vintage, vintage Japanese made, Fujigen made super strap for under 250 bucks US. Let me tell you about a guitar that you probably never thought of. In the 90s, Greco was making some seriously cool super strats, real shred machines. You had the device, but also the WP series, so the Wild Pecker series. Maybe their naming conventions were shit. Maybe they didn't know, I don't know. Maybe Wild Pecker is something that every Japanese teenager wants. Now, this one is a WP330. It has an SSH configuration. Okay, a little bit of context here with um, this guitar. Have a think back in the 80s. We've got some awesome things happening. Fuji Gen has taken over the... Um, manufacturing for Fender Japan under license. The lawsuit era is coming to a grinding halt. Uh, open book headstocks are no longer on the menu in Japanese stores other than Gibson and Orville becomes a thing into the 90s. You know, there's a reason why Greco is trying to hit this shred market. It's, it makes complete sense. Greco WPs, um, they tend to pop up on reverb every now and again. It is a really good guitar. I'll have a crack on this thing in a minute, but you know, tone wise, you're really looking on the neck pickup, something beautiful, Hendrix, sort of Hey Joe, you know, that beautiful, warm, classic Strat sound. You'll get that from this. Um, you'll also get down on the bridge, a real kind of rocky belty, obviously it's got the humbucker, the SSH configuration. So if you're on a budget and you want to be able to flick from Kirk Hammett back to Clapton and then through to Hendrix and back across to Dave Murray from Iron Maiden. Dave Murray from Iron Maiden. <laughs> Yeah, I guess let's jump onto the bench. Um, have a look at this thing close up. Okay, a couple of really quick stats on the WP330. 22 frets. It's beautiful maple neck with rosewood tremolo bridge, SSH configuration. Oh, shit. I almost forgot, almost forgot, almost forgot. This is our first ever rescue guitar. Now, if you don't know anything about us, you probably don't, because let's face it, I've made one video. We are a rescue facility. We don't like damaged, abused guitars. So I bring them in, I give them shelter, I fix them up, I get rid of them. Rescue guitars can be a real surprise package. Um, sometimes, you know, frets are lifting, we've got fret divots everywhere. I'm really not too sure what happened um, with the previous owner, but somewhere along the line, they've, they've decided that they wanted a hard tail. Bridge holes, way too many. Needed the tremolo put in, obviously, um, and the electronics. So there were no pots or wiring in this guitar when we got it. Good news is that with a with a buff and a polish, the paint was really easy. It's actually in really good condition. The neck, dead straight. There is a little bit of wear on the back. Frets have got so much meat for a 30 year old guitar. So yeah, let's go.